Hi, and welcome to another episode of Good Work Southwest Florida. I'm your host, Kayla Bornell, and today we're here at the Boys and Girls Club of Collier County with the 2015 Youth of the Year winner. How are you? Well, I'm doing very great. I'm happy to be here, and just I like to be able to devote my time to something like this, so I'm really proud to be here. Perfect. And Jesus, you won this year. Tell me what that honor feels like for you. Well, personally, it just shows that the Boys and Girls Club saw the, um, I guess, the potential inside of me because Truth be told, I didn't actually think I would win because out of all the other candidates, I thought I was the least likely to because I'm not really that good at you know speaking to other people. I'm very shy and reclusive. So just the fact that I was able to really show my true colors and that the Boys and Girls Club saw that I was an open-minded young man who had so much potential and could do something good in this world, it just shows just how much they care about me and it just shows that great futures really do start here at the Boys and Girls Club. Tell me about your plans. Um, my plans for college are I will get my bachelor's in engineering, hopefully at either FIU or FGCU, and then once I get my bachelor's, I want to transfer over to either MIT, UM, or Cornell, or Duke University, get my master's in biomedical, and then hopefully go on to my PhD. And what would you tell other people out in the community about the youth here in Collier County, um, the great things that you all are doing? What's one thing you would want to tell them? I would like to tell them that, you know, when you come to the Boys and Girls Club, especially as a teen, there's a lot of great opportunities. Like every Monday, we have a college prep night where a special guest from the community comes in and they tell us you know, how to write a resume, how to file scholarship uh, letters, how to basically set yourself up to go to college. And you know, at the same time, they're not promising anything because half the work is you doing it yourself. But they at least provide the tools and the necessity in order to be able to you know, move on and be able to go to college. Another thing is that it really does help with volunteer hours because for me personally, I have to sign up for Bright Futures and I need 100 volunteer hours. And that seems like a lot, especially when most kids start their senior year and they have a bunch of other club activities they're trying to get done in order to you know, fill out their resume. And the Boys and Girls Club provides that because just to be a youth of the year, you have to get at least 50 hours. So that's already half of the time put in and it has to be done before the next year starts. And then you also have another 50 hours you can do here volunteering at the library or helping out in the Keystone Club that I'm, that I'm a part of. Perfect. And I just want to tell you congratulations for your accomplishments and you have a very bright future. So thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much. It was an honor to be here. Thank you so much to our guest, Jesus Vilas. And if you want to find out more information on the Boys and Girls Club of Collier County, visit www.bgccc.com. Once again, congratulations, Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you. And make sure you tune in with us next week for more good work, Southwest Florida.